ready, honey? Uh, honey. Oh my goodness! Now look, starting there. Again. I think we're running. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Okay, who's in charge of this cluster? You are, sir. No, I ain't in charge. You putting me in charge? Hey, somebody. Hey, somebody needs to be. All right. Yo, I hate technology. How about this? <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, that'll work. Okay. You're hey, you're the uh, MC for today. Welcome Thank back, you. everybody. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. So glad to have y'all. Everybody been having a good week so far. Right. What has been going on? Hey, in hold y'all's on, world? if you're gonna run it, here's the ads for today. Right, make All right. All right. Well, then here we go. The first thing we're gonna talk about is me getting some reading eyeglasses. <laughs> oh yeah, ain't no Before chance. Before read. read that, <laughs> no. <laughs> read. no. Okay. Uh, y'all did hear that I, I hate technology. Yeah, I did. Uh, and we've heard. You know, it. I want to go back. You know, I'm old school. Yeah. I want to go back to face to face. Okay. I do too because I got. Uh, let me tell. Let me tell what happened to me this week. I really thought he was gonna say I want to go back to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to my Facebook. <laughs> Wrong school. answer. Wrong answer. Right. Uh, Sigh. Sigh, you too much. Oh. Well, what you didn't know is uh, I was doing some work this weekend at my house, and I usually carry my phone with me everywhere I go. But me and Alicia were out in the yard working together, and so well, I actually got afraid. Well, here, here, here's what you need to know. It's 8.30 at night. Usually I have my phone, but uh, I just left my phone, didn't look at it. My wife was there with me, and we had our phone. In case anybody wants to call, they know how to get me. Yeah. Well, I go and look at my phone at 8.30 at night. Six missed calls from Cy. Six missed calls. And so I go, and there's two messages. So I'm like, uh-oh, some, something's up. And so I go, and I'm like, it's Cy, Philip. Christine fell. The ambulance is on the way. Call me. I'm listening to the second one. Philip, sigh again. And then knock, 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 knock. Alicia said, sigh's at the door. I was like, okay, something's happened. Yeah. I said, I give up on a telephone. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, hey. Hey, no, no. Couldn't get nobody. You didn't call me? Oh, well, I mean, y'all. I'm put by my buddy. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, hey, I <laughs> call. He's not answering. And usually, if I call and say, hey, call me. He was right, you know, immediate. Mm-hmm. So I started actually getting work. I've been on the phone for about an hour. And I said, well, I, I you know, they done left the house like at 9, nine o'clock. At Ambulance nine. is gone. Yeah, it's gone. So I finally said, well, let me go over there. So I can get the car, go over there. It's a truck, rather. Knock on the door, you know, they take a few minutes. You know, the lady comes up and says, I said, Philip here? She said, yeah. You know, so, well, then I said, hey, you know, he said, I just looked at, he said, we've been working. And I just looked at the phone, and I said, "Well, we need to go down to Fran- San Francis Hospital." So apparently, uh, Christine had fallen, right? Yeah. So I, I mean, what happened? She just fell hey, somewhere along the way. All I heard was, and "I sit there, man," and I said, "That didn't sound good." If I, laugh, I said, I'm in so much "I'm watching TV. I turn the TV off and said, hey, you okay?'" And then I hear a <laughs> real weak. No, I'm not. He also, oh, that's right. terrible. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing yeah. at that. Yeah. Say yeah. That's my problem. I'll understand. Yeah. No, size okay. delivery is what I was getting. He's <laughs> yeah. like, I'm just sitting there. I can see. No, no, no. He's like, hey. He described his wife falling as. <laughs> and then he didn't move. No, no. And no, if no. we laugh, no, before no, no. Say, but it, was just a, it was just a, a, a silent thud, kind of. Okay. Don't. As no, I didn't no. even get up. Yeah. Turn TV down. You okay? <laughs> well, hey, don't laugh. Don't laugh. That's what happened. <laughs> Sigh. So, Look, yo, know, Phil's always said this. He said when cattle and women stampede, uh, they becomes a crisis. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, I'm not a crisis person. Okay, so when something like that happens, you're you know, just hoping for the best. Yeah, I'm hoping for the best. Yeah. You know, I'm hoping to hear. No, I'm all right. Yeah, but then I hear. No, I, yeah, I fail. I, well, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. We got a crisis. You don't do good at the sight of human blood either. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, like I like to pass out when my daughter, she had stepped on something and it got infected. Mm-hmm. And I had to take her to the emergency room. And when they just lanced it, you know, I'm quiet as this bongo drum there. Yeah. Mm. And fixing to just go out. You know, the nurse grabbed me. You okay? I said, no. Nope. Is Christine okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. So she, She's in the hospital. I just, I just wanted to make yeah. sure. Yeah. She's in long. the hospital, yeah. okay, and they're, you know, checking everything, you know, quiet, after and all this stuff. Do y'all need anything? Huh? Thank you, J.D. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> let, me, but, let me take the lead on this one. I need for her to get healthier. 
Yeah. So so I will say, Cy and Christine's fine. She's she's gonna be okay. Everything came back clear. We were in the ER for five hours, and and Cy was. I mean, he he was he was there. Usually, I don't even go. Oh no. Yeah. Usually, he's like, oh, okay. Philip, I'll take care of something. Yeah. Yeah. I said, hey, look, you need to go with her. Yo, I'm serious. Yeah. I have a respectful question to ask. Yeah. First off, thank you for your service and everything you do for this country. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you call 911 or Philip first? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll call 911. Okay. All right. No, I just no. wanted to check. As soon I, as I went in there, I said, wait, let me call, you know, let me get the people on the way. 911, this is Philip. What's yeah. your emergency sign? No, no. I mean, I was hyperventilating all this junk. You okay? were? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm telling you, I'm not a crisis person. So once he told me, he, it's no. let's get in the truck and we're gone. And when we get there, they put her, they put her name as some kind of secure, like celebrity name, you don't even know she's at this hospital. Dolph Lundgren. No. Well, no, no. I don't know that. why, but yeah. they did. It's weird. It's so, weird. Yeah. Celine so a, Dion was in St. Francis. Yeah. Because I couldn't. Even, hey, it, a long time ago, something else happened, and and yo, know, I'm trying to find out where she's at, and everybody's giving me the run around. Y'all ain't in witness protection or something. No, no, yeah. I'm serious. Yes. Yeah. So y'all are like paying. that. It's kind of like it, because yeah. I'm calling all over the place. I said, hey, hey, I think my <laughs> wife just was admitted. And they said, what's her name? And I said, yo. And they said, no, sir, she's not here. Now, it's still not on the records there. Yeah. But, uh, so I had to yeah. finally just get in the truck, drive to the hospitals, and say, hey, look, <laughs> I don't have a clue what the H is going on. Better but my up. wife is here, and I'm fixed to cause a ruckus if you, you know, if I don't get to see her. Another just yeah. quick <laughs> just take that before I knock you out. <laughs> I love you. Was this before or after you went and checked on Philip? No. Well, no, this was a different time. No, this time. was a different time. Yeah, a different, a different time. time. Different okay. Time. But I want everybody. We've had a lot of crisis in my life, but okay. I want everybody. Boy, but I I know, here's what I'll tell you. That man was in a tailspin. His wife has fallen and can't get up. No, no. And Philip no, ain't no. answering. And Philip no. ain't answering. No, no. His world no, no. was legitimately <laughs> crumbling around <laughs> him. For, for oh, yeah. The earth, the earth is spinning. How fast is the earth spinning? <laughs> it's way faster than was it. It doubled. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because yeah. panic is fixing to take over. Yeah. Okay. Because I can't call my friend. Okay. And my wife is on the floor, and I'm not sure, you know, what's going on there. But I do want everybody to know no, that Miss Miss Christine is going to be fine. She's doing um, good. But That's they, important. They're, she's they're, doing fine because I've talked to her. She, yeah, she, she called talked. Martin too. She I, knows how to get in touch. She said, with "Well, you know, I'm in the hospital." I said, "No, ma'am. I did not know I did, that. I did not know that. I haven't seen your husband yet." So. <laughs> and they're and they're just run, making sure and running some tests, but she's going to be fine. But I will say, uh, Cy hung in there. He did good. I ended up taking him home about three in the morning. Uh, went back, spent the night with Miss Christine, and um, she did get a temporary room later that morning, about nine or ten. You stayed at the hospital the whole night. Yeah, well, I got some relief next You're day. You're the best. At five o'clock, Miss Liz came and she uh, tapped me out, and, and and so I had a poker game at the house, and I wanted to go play, but I kept falling asleep. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna be able to go play poker, so I went home and look, I just woke up about thirty minutes before I walked in here. <laughs> I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say what I'm thinking. Right. Are you thinking? Yeah, about I am. Yeah. Hey, yeah, go you, ahead say you say it because I'm thinking I'll get in trouble. Hey. So, so your wife in the hospital, but you ain't cancel your poker game. No, I ain't gonna cancel my poker game. I'm gonna be there all alone. Why should I be alone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had a money tree. There's one right there. Look underneath it. You might find something in the pocket. Look, hey, you might as well if you wish, wish big. Hey. You know what I wish? How I would had? you like to have a tree, though? Really, just walk out in your backyard and hey, you you name the denominations. <laughs> you know? Well, that's what we got right there from fastgrowingtrees.com. So there you that go. is in that's fact right. a money tree. What's a money tree that you can order from fastgrowingtrees.com? And Everybody's heard the saying, "Good fences make good neighbors." Well, look. Lush strategically placed <laughs> trees with fastgrowingtrees.com can help you get instant privacy. So your fence ain't got to be. Oh, out of processed wood, it can right. be out of real wood. Yeah. Should you so choose, uh, my persimmon trees are doing great that I'm planting with the boys. Johnny D, what you still got growing? The native nanners, everything. everything. Nanners, limes, all the things. <laughs> I had a lime tree. Have some banana trees. I have a maple tree. 
I grow, I buy things from fast growing trees. If I see somewhere, I'm like, you know what? I want a tree, but I want it soon. Life's too short to watch a tree grow. I, yeah. Get a fast growing tree from fastgrowingtrees.com. And not to mention, like, take it from the guy who just had his front re landscaped. That stuff is expensive, but mm -hmm. I had it because we got the boys and I ain't got time to do it myself. But now that they're older, they were getting to the point where they're close to being able to help. And if not even help, they can actually just play in the dirt now and it'll be <laughs> fine. So I won't have to pay for that again because you can save like 90% over what you'd pay a landscaper for install, trees, bushes, all the things. Not to mention they have everything you could possibly want, like fruit trees, palm trees, evergreens, house plants, and so much more. Whatever you're interested in, they've got it for you. Find the perfect fit for your climate and space. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy to order online, and your plants are shipped directly to your door in one to two days. And along with their 30-day alive and thrive guarantee, they offer free plant consultation forever. Look, if you're wondering, you've always wanted this. I, I and you're like, will that grow here? FastGrowingTrees.com tell you. Tell you. I told Stone to get with them. About what? What you trying to trees, grow? Because well, I wanted to plant more fruit trees down there on Phil's property. Yeah, there you for go. For the deer and for the, the coons and, and the you, possums and all the stuff that eat fruit. And you know what? They'll tell you based off your yeah. soil type, your temperature, yeah. your climate, all the things. They've got it all figured out for you. They can tell you what'll work. And guess what? It will work. The persimmons have done swimmingly in my yard. So there were no swimmingly. persimmon trees there before, but there are. One thing he's got that. on his property, a lot of persimmons. A lot of persimmons, yep. yep. So look, this spring, they have the best deals online, up to half off on select plants and other deals. And listeners to our show get an additional 15% off their first purchase when using the code DUCK at checkout. That's an additional 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com using the code DUCK at checkout. Fastgrowingtrees.com code DUCK. Offer is valid for a limited time. Tell Arden them we you. Uh, did I tell you what I got Carter for his 10th birthday? Nope. A suit. A what? A suit. A suit? Yeah. Why would you do that? How old is your son? He's 10. He wanted a suit. Oh, good grief. I, he, wa he wanted one. Do you want to watch the video? Yeah. Look, so he's getting the suit. He doesn't know what it is. And then he realizes. Pajamas? A tie. A tie. A tie. Okay. Okay. It's a president suit, baby. <laughs> yeah. He is ready to. He went to church dressed Ladies as and gentlemen, like this. Please welcome the 53rd president we're, we're of the United States of America. Carter Owen. Watch him. Yeah! He came in and gave a whole speech, man. Knocked them all out. What did he say? He said, I'm going to give it 10 seconds or something. He said, hold your applause, please. Oh, actually, give it 10 seconds of applause. <laughs> <laughs> he was running the room. <laughs> but we had a, we took a break last week from filming, but we had a big one. It was spring break and Carter's birthday, and he is now fully on board with writing speeches to be the president. Him and, Car him and Connors would get along great. Oh, yeah. He's now 10 and 0 twelfths. <laughs> or does he just say 10? He just says 10. Oh, okay. He, he, he takes off the fraction, but about a couple weeks out. <laughs> a couple <laughs> weeks out, we're going to be at 10 and 112. 112. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tell him he looks real sharp in his suit. I will let him know. Yeah, and then we had ear surgery on Tuesday. How'd that go? You should read the instructions. On what? On just like aftercare. Oh, who, wait, who got ear surgery? Carter. Okay. It's the second one. So we're like, oh, we're pros at this. I was not a pro. Gave him a little bit of the wrong pain meds, and he started puking all over the car. Mm. But he's solid now. He's at school. Oh, wow. Kid's tough, man. <laughs> he is. Oh, he's tougher than I ever thought about being. So Because he was puking the whole day. He had ear surgery, and then I got home. Uh, I woke up the next morning, and he was playing Legos. He goes, Dad, time to cut this thing off my head. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So he's solid. He's Ooh. over it. And he's wearing suits to church. <laughs> Which is weird, because where do you get that from? Have you ever worn a suit? Uh, I hate suits. Hey, man. Yeah. Yeah, who's got time for that? Yeah, I ain't got time for that. That's why I I've had to make I'm time to put one suit. on another person, because it's complicated. Yeah, because he's got the three-piece deal, right? Oh, he got a vest. Oh, yeah. he's got a vest? He's got a little American flag pin. I like you that. You need to get him with Al. <laughs> get him with Al. Yeah, put him with Al. No, he vest. Just, he His vest ain't, ain't no, big enough. No, I can see it. That would be a, a good, uh, you know, double team here. Well, Al's vest is like camouflage, though. Carter's wearing it because it's, it's tight. Al's wearing it. It's tight, it's tight too. But, <laughs> but different kind of tight. Different kind of tight. Uh, it's like oh, tight, tight. Oh, it's tight. Like Carter, Carter ain't going to hit you with a button, you know? Yeah. Speak, speak. Or Al, being around Al is dangerous. Yeah. It could pop any minute. 
<laughs> <laughs> Did you see the Facebook comment I sent y'all the other day? Because I put up on the sign that the honey hole is like 10 gallons of bait in a five-gallon bucket. Oh, I did. And yeah. some random fan said, that sounds like Al trying on last year's vest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we done got everybody on board with it. 10 <laughs> gallons of bait in a five-gallon bucket. Uh, yeah. No, Christine hadn't seen him in a long time, and Al come over the house for something. And she said, Al, good great son, you put on a little weight. <laughs> she said, you're getting fat. Because <laughs> Al was like, he thanks, said, thanks, hey, It's Chris. good seeing you again, too, Chris D. Uh, we, all, we all go through there, our ebbs and flows oh, of weight. Uh, oh, yeah, ain't none of us. Oh, ain't none of us. The only thing consistent about all of us is the fluctuation. Fluctuation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, that's, it's been around the river all your life. Yeah. It's, it's flood state, boys. Yeah. Flood state. <laughs> That's why you put that vest on. Hey, oh, hold in the waters. Mercy. Side, y'all actually, I know you's gone. You had a big week last week, y'all. I had a bold prediction that y'all would kill a hundred or less geese because you were talking all that smack about well, three hundred. Who was? Which one of us wins? Hot, you did. But the coolest thing about that whole thing was okay, is they put out about oh probably three thousand decoys, mm -hmm. and then we're laying down. Okay. <laughs> and you literally get in a white pillowcase, <laughs> okay? And it's, uh -oh. it's, it's got a see-through screen because you're laying and you put it all the way over you. Mm -hmm. So you're watching. Look, we got like 5,000 geese. Here they come, okay? Who's with you, Stone? <gasps> uh, Stone, and it, it's, it's, uh, it's 18 of us oh, good grief. in a line. That's okay. like claymores. No, 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 look, and we've all got guns. This is your dream. No, 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 this is, okay, it's the greatest thing ever. Okay, <laughs> I'm saying, we've all got guns, and they've got magazine tubes on them. Uh-oh. Okay, so I've got a 20-gauge that holds 11 rounds. This sounds like is that you ran that sucker dry oh, every did time. did I ever, because every time they would get over us, but look, the coolest thing was we didn't shoot shoot the five thousand, but they're circling us, okay, and they're fixed to, you know, there's like two thousand snows coming down, and we're fixing to just maul them. Well, hey, two thousand speckle bellies get come in, get under them, and make them go up. So we we just watched all this, and then they flew away. And you're in a white sleeping bag? And yeah, this, yeah. That's the most amazing thing with, I've ever with heard. With a look, with a recliner. The you're best, laying down in a recliner in a white side. The best thing that come out of that whole trip for me was the Instagram reel Jared made on <laughs> Duck Commander. Is that where he was sleeping? That's well, the only thing I yeah. saw was him what I said, What I said, he practicing for eternity? Yeah. My man laying there with his arms crossed like this, got his gun laid across his lap and his oxygen on. That's it. And hey. just dead asleep oh, out there in the middle of the field. I, I'm talking about living the dream. What, like hey, what like is, mouth open sleep. Like, what are them little things that you used to as a kid? You turned them and they had all kind of different beautiful colors. Kaleidoscope. kaleidoscope. Okay. The kaleidoscope. Look, that's what I felt like when all them geese was on top of me. It was, I, hey, it wasn't, it wasn't another soul in a thousand miles of me Yeah. when I was watching that. You done got it all. Was just, yeah, it was just me and the geese. It was the coolest thing ever. Never mind. It really was. It was awesome. Right there, you? It really was. It was just spectacular. That sounds fun. Well, there you go. Oh, here look. The 11 shells sound. No, no. Oh, yeah. Look, That's hey. a lot of shooting. Yeah, yeah. Expensive. Like when they come in. He didn't pay for it. Okay, and the guy said, shoot them, you know. And it's just, you know, they're right above you. 11 like 60, times? 60 yards. So it's just, just. And look, they're flying away, and they're still falling a half a mile away. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Did you get out of breath shooting oh, like yeah. 11 That's times? That's why I had the oxygen on. Because, hey, the young Stone said, what's the matter? I said, hey, load this thing again. <laughs> this stupid thing's empty, boy. He said, what? You I said, yeah, I emptied it. I said, hey. <laughs> you're not, yeah, you, you're you going to empty it. I'm right out, hey, I shot it till it quit shooting. A lot of people say we should go back to the good old days, but you had oxygen in a field taking a nap oh, yeah. in 11 rounds. With, a, ser yeah. with a servant helping yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Praise yeah. God for America and oh, technology. Oh, no. <laughs> if you've never done that before, 
You need to do it, okay? Because it is a hoot. The difference is all the well, reason Sai is saying you need to do it because he didn't have to pick up decoys. Right. Yeah, hold on. Hey, so I've done it. You don't need to do well, it. Well, I have also done hey, it. Hey, forget about the little bit of work involved. Okay. Yeah, you ain't forget nothing about, about it. Ain't hey. nothing about three thousand decoys. A little bit of work. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. Well, no, no, that ain't that bad because these are like uh, he didn't do it. It's like socks in the wind. Okay, they're right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah they're not that. all on stakes. Yeah, they ain't no all, big, yeah, big, no big, heavy decoys. Nah, no big deal. They had a few of them. Yeah. Okay. Both of them was the socks. Si, si would know. Yeah. He's no. out there working hard. But I'm just saying. Making hey, content. Thank ask, you, sir. Ask just, him how many doves he picked up uh, during dove season. Not one, because he don't have to. That's right. Hey, first Peter 5. Respect your elders, <laughs> Phil. Right. Everyone needs to learn that. The only, I was telling Sai, because w- <laughs> when I went, I went with Mountain Man, and we put out 500 decoys. And then Mountain Man still stomped the, the uh, uh, speaker. Loudspeaker in the mud. He stomped the speaker in the mud. <laughs> it was pitch black. Here they come over. We got nothing to turn on. The guy's like, hey, what happened to my speaker? Mountain Man said, well, thought I had a snake wrapped around me this morning, and I had a fight with a snake. He said, that was my speaker. And so we didn't have no action. Nothing came. Nothing got close to us. And I mean, we didn't shoot. Can a, we take um, a second what? to show respect for that mountain man impression I just heard? That, <laughs> hold on. That was that's the first second question. to none. No, no, that was the first question ever asked when they when they come up. Is mountain man really talk like that? Yeah. I said, hey, that ain't a put on. But I mean, that was spot on. Yeah. I've got a bigger yeah. question. Thank you, Johnny D. How did you end up on a hunt with mountain man and a speaker? <laughs> we, a lot of questions. We, we also did the same type hunting that Cy did, except we had put out all, all the decoys and, you know, stuck That's what I'm saying. How did you end ground. up there? I don't know. Was, You've I, been banished from Nim Robertson, so now you you hunting with old Mountain Dog? <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's, what, mountain that's what we down to? Hey. Phil, I, you know you can call me. I'll take you duck hunting. I know that. No, <laughs> it won't be with the Robertson. I won't be with the No, <laughs> it's okay. He owed me one because I set him up on a blind date. Uh-oh. And I don't know but if But that right. woman this liver is, punched him. No, not that yeah, one. Yeah, she liked to drown. Oh. No, this is a different one. Yeah, she liked to drown. That's true. Si knows the story. <laughs> she uh, she went out in the boat with him. He reached to grab her and save her, and hey, when she grabbed his, her hair, <laughs> she had a wig on, so she liked to drown. It came off. <laughs> it came off. He, he pulled her in the boat, and <laughs> wig in one hand, and her in the other. She almost drowned. Yeah. She left. He hadn't talked to her since. He called me up. Well, you got me with that one. She didn't even have hair on her head. I said, Mountain Man, you don't don't hold that against somebody. He was like, uh-uh, we're done. You, I'm not letting you set me up with anybody else. He grabbed her by the hair to pull her back in. <laughs> yeah, why did he grab her? Because she was going underwater. Well, I understand that, but why you grab her by the hair? That's, he, he That's reached, like Neanderthal. He reached uh, over. All he could reach. That's all he could reach. It is Mountain Dog. Anyway, all I'm, all I'm seeing is old caveman cartoons, like with them dragging a the woman by the hair. You know? Hey, mountain caveman. Yeah. So you asked me. Ain't run them today. Me and mountain man are buddies. We do stuff together from time to time. Well, so. well I, mean, I consider. Back hey, that was good, Johnny D. I've tried. Do dude. Johnny, it's do not it, Johnny. As good as yours. He actually moved back home to Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee, yeah. Well, yeah, I heard he's moving mountain. back here now. Oh, I hope so. Uh-oh. I miss him. Let's call him. I like running into Mountain Dog at the grocery store. <laughs> well, let's take oh, a break. Before we call him, yeah, let's take a break. We'll be back. Uh-oh. Elevate your morning, Mark. Yeah, I know. <laughs> With Tommy John's. Sex. I love. Uh-oh. I'm just going to say it. I love Tommy John's and I love their ad writers so much. I generally just read them word for word and I'm going to do the same because this one makes me giggle. <laughs> Elevate every morning with Tommy John's second skin underwear. What you put in your pants can make or break your day. And the luxurious support of second skin guarantees everything will go smooth. That's right. <laughs> smooth as eggs. That's you know right. what's better than one set of skin? What? Two. A second set of skin, second skin underwear from Tommy John. Because when you wear Tommy John, mm, mm, you're much mm. more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Why do you think Sai was able to nap on a snow goose hunt? Why? Yeah, yeah. them Tommy Johns on. If he yep. had on regular drawers, like, he wouldn't have been like able to get comfortable. Nothing. Never on. made it. One word. TJ's. Look, Tommy John's stylish and soft second skin underwear has dozens of comfort innovations, like a supportive contour pouch. Mm. Pouch. Mm-hmm. There you hey. go. Look. Call yourself a kangaroo and breathable, lightweight, moisture wicking fabric with four times the stretch of competing brands with over 20 million pairs sold and thousands of five star reviews. Guys everywhere love their Tommy Johns. Hey, we don't have fans. Mm-mm. Okay. We what don't. do we have? 
We are totally fanatic about Tommy John underwear. Right. Amen. There you go. Because look, most of the time I forget I got them on. And even our <laughs> look, I'm, even, I'm serious. Our fans have even went so far to drop mm-hmm. it in the comments. They're the most comfortable boxer briefs ever. There's no downside. Buy one pair, and you'll never want to wear any other underwear again. There's another one that said, I've been trying different brands of trunks for the past few months while wearing a similar product for the past three years. Second skin is the most comfortable I've ever worn, hands down. Hands down. Plus, your most valuable assets are always covered with Tommy John's best pair you'll ever wear, or it's free guarantee. Wow. How many pair do you have? Oh, hey, I only got Tommy John's in my... Well, no, I bet I bet he's got about thirty pair of them now. I got a bunch I had of them. To, if I had to guess, and that's why you should get them too. Look, if that old man's wearing them and ain't wearing them out, look, I've seen right. what comes out of him. They surviving him. They survive anybody. You should get them too. <laughs> this is true. And look, he's seventy five and still come up here spry as a chicken, man. Yep. He's don't you fire, don't you want to feel like that? Second Tommy scam. John can help you feel like that's that. Right. Look, Cy loves them, and so will you when you get your Tommy John's. For silky, soft comfort with sophisticated style, check out Tommy John's luxurious second skin limited edition colors now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. They're going fast, so hurry to TommyJohn.com slash duck and order today. I was watching an outdoor channel. Yeah. And they were hunting buffalo, African buffalo. Okay. There's about three different types of them. This one was a red one. Okay. That's the one that killed Mufasa. Oh, no. Hey, they shot this thing. Look, he looked like he was way over there, shot it. The next thing you know is, hey, he's on top of a guy just pushing him on the ground. For the buffalo? Is? Oh, yeah. Good for the buffalo. Yeah. That really is running. the one that killed Buffalo. Oh, no. So, hey, they're running around there shooting him again. And I'm, look, this thing come out of nowhere. I'm for mm-hmm. the. I'm, you know, and then when it showed the guy that he just pushed around, he had one little speck of blood on, on his arm, but his whole. Pants, shirt, everything was ripped. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Animals are mean. That's why I stick to that. Oh, no. Hey, I don't ever hunt nothing that will hunt you back. I don't ever mess with the bull. That's right. Oh, you get horns. There you go. Hey. Imagine. No, that was wild. I probably got an unpopular opinion, so I'm going to. No, no, no. I want to know. No, that's a good one. Tell us. Are we going to go down that route? Of what? Hey. Shooting zoo creatures. Shooting what? Oh, zoo yeah. creatures? Yeah. I, no, these are not in the zoo. No, but like. I know. But, in the wilds of Africa. I don't like that, though. No don't, no zebras in, in. Although that deer in Monroe, I would like to shoot him. He is huge. Well, <laughs> yeah. He just said, let's At the Monroe the Zoo. zoo. That, but that's a, I, like, that's a deer. When you, when well, the, zoos are bringing different parts of the world to you. So, see, that's a lot of the problem. Right. Like, us as duck hunters don't catch a lot of hate. Because people don't like ducks because they crap on everything. Yeah. But then boys that go and shoot bears and stuff like that, they get a lot of hate because everybody had a teddy bear growing up. Mm -hmm. Or they got a deer in their neighborhood. Or giraffe. Stuffed giraffe. But see, that's the good thing about ducks. They just crap on everything. Yeah. So like everybody's like, no, y'all kill them. Whack them and stack them. Yeah, they don't care about that. But I've just never understood the joy of shooting a giraffe. A giraffe, I wouldn't. He don't seem like something I'd hunt. but, But as long as it's legal. Now, if I was hungry enough, I'd hunt him. And, and I get, oh boy, they got drugged by the wildebeest, probably paid a lot of money, and they're going to use that money to, yeah, for the game preserve. And they're probably going to use that money to rewrite their waiver, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you sign when you get there. Because I wouldn't want to get in a fight with a giraffe. Well, I'll fix that. But back. hey, the thing about hunting over there is if it weren't for hunters over there, them folks would be poor as a snake. Like, yeah. I mean, no, I know that. They're, they, the people that show up there are the ones that mm-hmm. pump money into that economy. Therefore, then they get to hire wildlife officers. Yep. To protect them from the local poachers yep. and kill them for ivory yep. and yeah. local poachers. Yep. Worse, Have you seen some dudes that just got to sit by the rhinos all day? Yeah, they literally got people just patrolling like the last two rhinos. Yeah, and that, but it's you ridiculous. know how they get paid for from the hunter. The hunter. Yeah. So, so it is a good thing. It's just not it, for. I would just take a camera. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, that that's the way like, I feel. I just it wouldn't be me. There are some things that in this world that are hunted that have never like i don't i have no desire to ever hunt a bear you know what i want to hunt i don't i have no need for a bear skin rug i know people eat it and say it's great i just don't it ain't for me like nope. bears bears strong yeah it, it ain't for real me. strong so but if you if that's what you enjoy i got a buddy who's become like obsessed with all the sheep of the world i don't get you know it. what don't make me mad at all a sheep, a sheep. counting sheep like there you go, counting them, doing it. I, well, I mean, they're an amazing creature. 
But I'd love to go hunt ducks all over the world. I mean, mm-hmm. but I like birds. That's just that's just who You're I am. You're a bird am. man, yeah. not a sheep man. No. Sheep not. sheep or something else. They're beautiful, you know, really are. Oh, yeah, he's got a full-blown collection no. of them now. Oh, no. But he loves them, and they eat them. What and, gets me is that they, they are on mountains. Different strokes for different folks. That's what makes yeah, this yeah. world grand. Yeah, that is. Yeah, thrilling. that is crazy. That's a great show too. What's that? Different strokes. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> you know what animal I could do without? What? This is going to be super unpopular. Mosquito? Nope. Oh. He's fine. The sea turtle. You because, could do without? <laughs> yeah, because the paper straw is the worst invention <laughs> since time began. And if we have to trade the sea turtles for paper straws, I'm I'm choosing just regular straws. Wait a minute. Hey. Why don't we just get rid of you straws? Know, yeah, let's get rid of straws. You don't have one over my head. What has a paper straw got to do with a sea turtle? Oh, you go to a restaurant and they're like, oh, sea turtles, here's your paper straw because we don't do plastic because, you know. And a plastic container. Sea here's turtles. Your, here's your paper straw. Here, take the plastic. And then you, you your straw melts. You've had a paper straw in the airport and you it stuck to your lips and you were like, what is this? Well, you remember that? That was, that was because of sea turtles. No, it wasn't because of sea turtles. That's what they say. <laughs> John That's David. a bald-faced lie. You, 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 can, you can buy a metal straw to take with you to restaurants and just have your own straw. What in the name of 2024 are you taught to having to take my have own a, straw? I just give me a straw. You don't have to I deal have, with I paper have, straws. I have on her out. Go up and drink it without a straw. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm a, I just, okay. I like a plastic <laughs> straw too. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Martin. Hey. And I hey, I don't. Use I don't like sea. I like hey, sea yeah. turtles too. Grow up and drink, drink it like a man. I don't use straw. So. A straw. You don't use no. a straw ever. No. I well, do. What about? I do every once in a while, but I mean, it's just I mean, a waste, waste of time. Ever is a strong word. If I get something to eat from a drive-through and I'm driving and eating, obviously. Imagine if they gave yeah. you a paper straw. But I, I have been soft drink free for two months now, Ooh. so I just How's get bottled, working I out. Just, I could drink a whole case of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, so, so I've done good. that before. But got drunk. Yeah, I'm, I did in college. I mean, I could I could sit here and drink Dr. Pepper's like rednecks drink beer, but I haven't well, had I've, I haven't had one in two months, and I'm going to see how long I can keep going. I've drunk it. a case before of Coke's. Got tipsy. I'm serious. Oh yeah, the Mountain Dew and all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and you don't need to do that. And I just 100 percent believe that story, and will not question it whatsoever. Well, I, that at all. is true. Because <laughs> you respect the deal. Well, hey, I, I was. I was thing. Learn. drunk on sugar. John David, hold on a second. Go ahead, Si. <laughs> I was drunk on sugar. Oh, yeah. You had a sugar high. Oh, no. I, did I have a buzz? <laughs> you had a stomach ache. Oh, yeah. You had, had the no runs, not a hey, buzz. I had a headache. And you've never had a kidney stone or. <laughs> don't <laughs> feel <laughs> ass. I don't want to have one. And look, and, and, I, and here, I don't want you, do you to know have how one. They hey, here's the thing. And the doc told me that, hey, See, it's why I don't have one. Well, then why did Phil get one? I don't know. That's don't, all he drinks. He don't, yeah, but he don't drink enough like I do. <laughs> I drink more. More tea, less water. <laughs> Got to see more hey, pops, Martin. I drink two of these during a while when I'm awake. Which is why I beg the question. You've never had a kidney stone or anything. Yeah, I mean, it's mind boggling. It's crazy. Oh, that stuff got a lot of good stuff in it. Oh, I don't know. I, yeah, I, what, antioxidants? I 100% agree with that. Yeah. Just the amount of fluid you drink and the stuff that pumps through your body it just amazes me <laughs> that you haven't had any plumbing issues without whatsoever. a straw mind you yeah, without without a straw. A straw. Do the plastic straws only hate sea turtles what about dolphins i've got a lot of questions sorry well now hey you ought to blame that on the beer people for what the beer people uh, who yeah. drinks beer out of a straw if you're drinking uh, well, beer hey, out of a straw no, you judging. got to carry a plastic carrying well, better thing for cans of beer uh, that's true pack. though a six pack and i know for a fact a lot of, it shows a lot of them on these uh, wildlife shows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're cutting, they cutting them. They put six pack plastic them things off of all kinds of fish. It's basically Duck Dynasty. They shoved a turtle inside of a six pack of, <laughs> and said, "Send us money." Just like that Dawn Dish Show <laughs> hey. commercial where they dumped the oil on the poor duck. Hey. Yeah. there ain't yeah. been an oil hey. spill and yeah, like and y'all certainly weren't there with commercial. And, hey, and most, and most ducks got enough sense not to swim through oil. So, that duck was covered with molasses. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Dunk him. We're here. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall for a bunch of you. Yeah, I was going right. to say the fourth wall's gone. Sorry. Hey, wait. I don't like you. You're the villain. Anyways. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Boy, you've had a turnaround in character. <laughs> Bill in the Bill in. Yeah. Hey, look, we ain't asked you to not wear sleeves not one time in here. <laughs> Shouldn't you be riding a porta potty hey, somewhere? Don't be, and don't be putting them fake tattoos on either. <laughs> it's okay. You can still wear your Crocs. On. I was like, hey, wear your Crocs. He Watch just, out. Watch out for them bumble beads. <laughs> He's throwing stuff. He's throwing socks. These are sandal socks. These are nice. Hey, they are. <laughs> what size are these? Socks, keep uh, let's take our last <laughs> let's right, while we hey, while we get. Y'all done got we, him on the whole hoist. Now that really is Phil, though, That's drinking right. free stuff That's in the right. corner. That's the only thing. You know what Phil <laughs> missed about Duck Dynasty? Craft services. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag lunch. Yep, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> Did you take your my pillow out to that field that you took a nap in and shot geese? No, I could have used it. Though. He'd, He'd still be it. there. He'd still be there. Right. Hey, never left. Enough would have been out. And if he could have got him a white robe, he could have had the my pillow snow goose robe. Ooh, good hey, good. look, mm. maybe we should tell Mike. Look, we're great Americans, just like Michael and Dale. Innovators, right. really. Yeah, a my really pillow are. goose hunting robe. Uh. Ooh. There you go. Limited edition. And you sleep in a field. Some of the best sleep that I've ever gotten is outdoors. Mike, are you listening? We got you, big dog. <laughs> but if you're not outdoors, he's got he has perfected the great indoors. That's true, because Mike has a passion to help you create the best sleep of your life. After he invented the world's best pillow, he created the famous Giza Dream Sheets, Ooh. which you can get now. They're the best sheets you will ever sleep on. The best night's sleep just got even better. And for a limited time, you will get a queen size set for $59.98. King size for just sixty nine ninety eight, the lowest prices in history, and that's just him and his employees passing along the deal because big box stores keep trying to cancel them, and they just want to thank their supporters for all their support. Look, Brittany got a birthday coming up. You know what? Uh oh, there they are. I'm there it is. I'm replacing old ones. That's right. Oh, here you I go. Got our brand new pair of her slippers. I mean, they're my slippers, but they're really her slippers. <laughs> so I don't want her to think they're my slippers. And if you get confused, you go walking outside, you'll leave, leave my slipper wherever you go. It's right there on the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> That's advertising. Look, if I can get away with this for a birthday present, you know they're good. Hey, since time began, human beings have been trying to make the indoors better. And Mike Lindell's done more for that mission than anybody. Uh -oh. Yep. There you go. Whether it's bed sheets, slippers, robes. Doesn't mm. pet beds, you name it, they got it, and they're all fantastic. And at a special good price. I don't think there's a room in my house you can enter that doesn't have my pillow products in it. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's a true statement. We really use it. We really like it. There you go. Look, and if you want to take advantage of it, you can. To get the best specials ever, go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or call 800-969-3137. You'll get the famous Giza Dream Sheets queen size for fifty nine ninety eight and king size for just sixty nine ninety eight. You'll also get 60% off the original My Slippers. Go to MyPillow.com slash Duck. and enter promo code Duck. or call 800-969-3137. And do not wait. Do it right now. Yesterday, I was coming home. Where did you go, uh, by the way? I, I was in something. I was in Birmingham all weekend. He was at the, Red Crest. I was at Red Crest, Major League Fishing's Championship of the Year. My good buddy. DC, who's mm -hmm. actually been on this podcast, Dustin Connell, won three hundred thousand dollars yesterday. He's, he was wow. the winner. Oh, he's Martin's world. friends just keep wow. winning. I'll hang out with losers. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> See, I was wondering if you'd catch that, Phil. I, I caught it. I didn't know. That was a I mean, comment. I first, didn't know which direction it was going. That was a was, compliment. First, he's you like old Yogi Bear. You got to let Martin ridicule you, and then he'll build you back up. See, oh, I don't ridicule many, but um, no. So, but no, coming back, so. I've been around a boat, trailers, all the things my whole life. Oh, you hit but your you, shin. No, yesterday I had something happen to me that has never happened to me. I'm just driving down the interstate, cruising right along, and I feel a jerk on my truck because I, I took my boat to follow them on the water. And I look out my side mirror. Oh, no. And I'm seeing Express Boats logo closer to me than it should be. Oh, no. For some reason, my trailer just started fishtailing. Out of the blue. Whoa. Everybody here knows me. I ain't a speed demon. Uh -uh. I ain't pulling it too fast. It was raining. The only thing I can figure is like either my truck tire spun or it wanted to hydroplane. Because like to my knowledge, what I was taught by my father, who was pretty experienced in pulling trailers all over the country because he was a pipeliner and welder. He traveled pulling travel trailers and stuff living in them. He's like, that's just that really happens mostly when your truck and your trailer are going two different speeds. 
like where they there gets to be a little slack or something goofy happen. Huh. Well, guess who don't know what to do in that situation? Your boy, because it ain't ever happened to him. Mm. What did you do? I just took my foot off the gas and held onto the steering wheel. I, I didn't. It, yeah. I didn't try to chase it. it. I didn't try to correct it. I didn't do nothing. I just held straight. Hold the line. And took my foot off the gas. I didn't dare touch that brake because Clint Boyer told me that time. <laughs> don't gas? ever hit the brake. <laughs> ever? Yeah. He said, if anything, the gas is your friend. Well, I, w- I was scared to, I was too scared to gas it to try to straighten up. <laughs> good great. The trailer. But I just held on to it. And it, you know, for about 15, 20 seconds, good Lord looking out because there wasn't nobody on the interstate around me. 15 if somebody, seconds? I, I mean, it was probably that long by the time I got yeah. back, by the yeah. time it got all the sway out of it. I uh, did. Good thing you know TommyJohn.com slash duck. <laughs> Hold on. What are you talking about, buddy? There was no exit available to happen. Hold on. Hold on. If I anything, got... I'd have thrown up. That end was so tight, there wasn't nothing going to get out of there, buddy. <laughs> Justin, hold on. Is, I this, mean, is the boat just on the chains or is it? No, still it's still attached up? to my truck. It's okay. just fishtail. It's okay. just fishtail. Gotcha. It's just road walking, whatever you want to call it, just back like there this. behind me. Look. I hauled it over there, no problem. I hauled it back home. It was a 20-second isolated incident on the interstate in Mississippi. Well, those roads aren't great. They're not great, but, like, it wasn't a no, terrible no. part of it. I've it got, was just I've outside Meridian, I've got Meridian Jackson. and Jackson. What about water? Did water get in it? Was it weighted in the back well, too I got much? The, I got the plug out. Like, it shouldn't be able to collect water with a plug out. No, no, I've, I've, I've been behind somebody towing a, a boat. Yeah. And it started doing that. And—, and with that, it you did the right thing because hey, that guy I was following, yeah, it just kept doing it till it finally just went sideways and oh, buddy, I was yeah, I was and I was I was actually climbing a hill right there outside of Meridian, going coming towards Jackson, and I'm looking and I'm like, well, that's a long way down right there, yeah, you know I'm actually climbing. Oh a hill. yeah, yeah, and I'm like, uh oh. And I'm just sitting there holding it, man. And no gas, no nothing. I'm just holding Ooh. on to it. That's like, when you start hitting them prayers in your head. You know, yeah, Lord, help me I, be with I, me, help me. I was just looking out each mirror trying to figure out which way is this thing going to go. Boy, this yeah. is going to hurt. Because yeah. I was just waiting for it to, like, snap yeah. me yep. around. Because yep. there yeah. ain't nothing you can do. Yeah. Like, you know. You did that, the right thing by taking your foot off the gas. You buddy. Because I, I, I watched that guy, Hills was doing that, fish tailing. And it finally just, hey, it got just sideways but if there'd have been anybody beside me like i'd have clipped the boat oh, yeah. would have clipped yeah. them yeah and and everything and i don't for life like i said i've been doing this i'm 30 what i'm 38 yeah gonna be 39 That's I've, you man i've hauled stuff everywhere remind me to ask stone about that whenever because he, he pulled a boat a lot, a lot. so what yeah. what and, what and my trailer is a tandem axle trailer so like i mean i spent money on the trailer because yeah. i knew i'd be yeah. hauling this boat around did yeah. you end up slowing down pulling over and yeah once, assessing it, the once situation? it got under control i pulled over got off um at the next exit went to the bathroom no just just <laughs> no, he took, already did that took a breath yeah um but because I, I was like, well, I must have had a tire blow out or something. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm about to be changing a tire in yeah. the rain, you know, like yeah. no big deal. Oh. But like, well, a boat tire ain't but four lugs. I mean, ain't nothing to it. But, um, sir, there's nothing worse than changing a boat trailer tire. No, I got that. Road. No, buddy, I got that thing that you pulled a trailer up onto. You get the one wheel up, the other one's hanging there. You ain't got to use a jack or nothing. You just put that other one right in front of your wheel, pull it up. You, your other tire's free because I got two of them nothing to it i've done it i've done it been there done that huh. more of a man so than me i carry it with me every time i pull a trailer so i ain't gotta worry about that man that little horseshoe thing uh-huh well how do you Works know it's like not gonna chunk. happen again is my I'm, well I'm see so you know me being the nerd i am he broke it down no break it down i tried to make it happen again oh no now you're just a psycho well no because part I, my biggest book philosophy in life uh, this and sometimes good. it ain't knowing what to do. It's knowing what not to do. I was trying to figure out what I don't ever need to do again to make sure that that doesn't happen again. Now, I did it on stretches of road where I look. There's nobody for a mile in front of me, a mile behind me, like and and a lot flatter ground, mind you, because I didn't that that thing was that thing was pretty pretty yeah. sharp over on yeah. that side. Like it's like so worst case here, I probably just you know get out there in the grass. I got four wheel drive. I get out of that, no problem. So you waited until you got to Louisiana. I did do it in Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. 
And then I would even speed up, like trying to find out if there was like a critical speed. I couldn't, I, it never happened again. I don't know what. Was it the me. angle of the truck going up? I mean, I was just going up. I mean, I climbed those same hills going to yeah. water. There. Like, I mean, it's got to be water. something to do with the water. How about this? But it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like a stupid rain. It was just rain. Water. What if, what if, what if you would have hit a rock with your trailer and it may have started it? Okay. And it continued. Know. It could have. I mean, when I tell you I was just cruising in the right lane like I do, <laughs> I was not doing, I was just chilling. Just cruising in the right lane, listening to fishing. I mean, I'd be scared to death it's going to happen just any time I pull a boat now. Well, you know? I'm luckily, already scared. Luckily, I had three more hours to <laughs> to get over that fear because, you know, it happened about the midpoint of that drive. Mm. People that pull trailers that are good at it are impressive. Well, but hey, look, and we got a lot of fans that, that listen to this thing. It probably some, I know a lot of, some, not a lot of them, but I know some of them are truckers that haul even bigger trailers. So if y'all got any suggestions, y'all drop that below just so I I know what not yeah. to do next. Because I the other thing I thought was like, oh, yeah. crap, my strap failed or something and my boat slid back. Because that's the other thing called fish tailing if you've got it weighted improperly. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, if it ain't, if but it nothing, ain't, nothing if it failed. ain't on the trailer properly. Yeah, but nothing oh. failed. It's centered yeah. up like all the things, all the boxes checked. So I don't know what, you know. That's interesting. Well, no stone. He's actually pulled out. Unless it was just a good Lord saying, hey, yeah. hey buddy, pay attention. <laughs> I mean, well, like. Because Ben Stone won that, and he, he pulled out. Yeah. And then he backed right back down in, backed it off. Yeah. And put it back up and checked it again. Yeah. It, it rides different. Well, it luck, well luckily, right. and luckily on this one, this boat trailer and this boat can pretty much only go on this trailer one way. Yeah. I yeah. mean, any other yeah. way, and you're not. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't you're right. You're so far off, you're not yeah. even close. Yeah. There's not like the old trailers yeah. where you could put a, this trailer was built for this boat. Yeah. Like, yeah. so it's a, it's a weird deal. Also, but, I think contact the manufacturer just say, Oh, hey. I talked to him for an hour this morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're going through trouble. Well, I mean, cause I work with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Like, you know, so I called, I called them yesterday right after it happened to see like, you know, yeah what what's the deal what, yeah what's is this common yeah, yeah like is this something i need to worry about because i mean i paid when i bought this boat i paid i told them i said i want the best trailer y'all make like yeah because i'm gonna be hauling it don't yeah. don't yeah. don't mm-hmm. cheap on the trailer like yeah I, I'll he's spend, a traveler yeah so but you know and i checked all the air pressures and everything before i left and then i checked them again when i got home everything was good on tires one more question per my assessment <laughs> the same truck or was this a different truck that you've been pulling it with? No, same truck. I'm I out. haul it. I haul it with the. I got nothing. No, I haul it with the F one fifty. Question: What lake was it fishing? <laughs> Lay Lake. I don't know where that's at. It's In Alabama. Coos- yeah, it's on the Coosa River. Uh, it's just south of Birmingham, about about thirty minutes to an hour south of Birmingham. And if you guys, you were a pile of crushed city freeloader, you can win all sorts of money. <laughs> or Mooch Minnow. That's the one that won it, but. Well, you're not selling those yet, man. Come on. No, but whatever your order is for the fall, double it. Double it. Because <laughs> that thing catches them. So there you go. Yeah, that was that was my weekend. But I am interested if any of our fans or listeners have any ideas. Shoot us an email. Drop us a comment. All the things. I mean, I sound like any other YouTube channel now. But for real, I'm I'm legitimately He's curious. curious. I cause... think it actually hit a slick pop. On when the these things happen, your body can kind of take over and things start moving in slow motion you know what i'm talking about when there's a crisis like this buddy yeah okay who i know so, <laughs> so did you go through that a little bit not a little bit okay i was physically shaking once i finally got it stopped so the last time i felt <laughs> like, like that like, is when si was driving uh-oh. that's the last time he drove me by the way uh-oh we were driving it's very disrespectful 90 miles an hour passing an 18 wheeler on a double line and I said, Si, we're going to die. Hey, I ain't sitting behind this truck all day. That's when I was like, Si. And then after that, no more. I said, I'll never do it again. He scared me to death. He I said, said si, I'm I'm I'll never ride with you again. He said, I'm well, driving. hey. I'm driving from now on. I'll ride with you, Si. All right. Well, let's take <laughs> our <laughs> Ride or die. Ride or die. What's in that inbox, Johnny D? I got some. Are we just roll? Oh, wait. Yeah. Hey. Let's just roll with Hunter and figure out where to cut that. Just keep on rolling. Oh, man. Since you put in a text message that you're doing good at your job, Hunter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think, yeah. Did you think we wouldn't see that? <laughs> yeah, Hunter. Hunter. Do you think that we wouldn't notice the faux text message from my phone that said you were doing a good job? I mean, I am. Does that make you proud? 
a little bit. How do you sleep at night, Hunter? Peacefully. Hunter, that, I I thought that was awesome. On a my pillow. Yeah, <laughs> my Hunter's pillow. Hunter, put something in this episode, and we'll see if we catch it. I won't. Um. Anyway, <laughs> I won't. I will. Hey, Brian emails in. Brian. Hey, Brian. He is a fun of the podcast. <laughs> A fun? He heard that Martin is going to be in Longview, Texas. I will be in this July. This summer. Yep. He lives in the Kilgore area, which is where that brisket is. You going to bring me some brisket, big dog? I, he, but he just doesn't know where you're going to be. He just wants the information oh. about where to meet Martin. If Hold you're on. In. I'll have to. I, I want to make sure that I say the name of it, right? Because I can't. See, y'all think we prepare this podcast, um, but Martin had no idea I was going to ask that. No. Longview, Texas. It's at an event called God and the Great Outdoors. You're a good person for that. Um, It's put on by Rock Hill Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. and I know that the, the um, venue is not the church, though, I don't believe. It's like something big there in Longview. Is there like an event center or something? Yeah, they got a big one. Willie, yeah. you've spoke there. Willie yeah. spoke there. Yeah, like an event center in Longview. It's a three-day event, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to be there Saturday. That's awesome. July. It's in July. It's in July. I know it's in July. On a Saturday. Um, on a yeah. Saturday ah. in Longview. Just go to Longview every Saturday in July, and you'll be sure to run into Martin. Okay, so you know how I had to discuss West Monroe's problem? Have you seen the crumble cookie? July 12th through 14th. July 12th through 14th. The, right. With the line and how every time, like we had the Dairy Queen open and oh, we yeah. needed yeah. traffic yeah. direction. Oh, yeah. So I asked our fans if West Monroe's the weird ones. Turns mm. out we're not as bad as others. Really? Small town. This is from Trisha in North Georgia. Okay. She's so ashamed she didn't even say her town's name and trisha you should be what if it is small town georgia it's That'd probably be rooster cool. poot georgia i've been there a time too do they have a panda express no not them hey damn. so she said so a small town here in north georgia georgia closed school last week for the opening of a panda express this is the appropriate response crickets yeah i've ate panda express what is Panda Express? It's not worth closing school. Exactly, Sai. It's not what, worth leaving school. What do they have to eat? Panda. Panda? Yeah, fried panda. Grilled no. panda. It's it's like it's it's drive through Asian food. So like it's yeah. pretty good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like orange chicken and oh, okay. All, yeah, okay. all the ones Shrimp. you've heard. It's of. not as good as that pl L Eastern. No, the China the, the, yeah. the regular the like mom and pop place that we got yeah here mom pop Park. daughter son grandkid <laughs> watch them kids Family. grow up working at cash register whoever i was working in there those are cool kids yep. yeah because they had awesome. a job at six and they're freaking awesome at it and they make great egg rolls they do but yeah i gotta call time out on georgia but i mean i'm sure a lot of places would call time out on us with dairy queen i mean for real we didn't close school no we didn't close school we did not need police direct we traffic. stopped traffic but we did have police directing traffic for yeah dairy queen yeah was i mean to be fair then blizzards be banging <laughs> and to be fair i did get in that line did they do this with your blizzard yeah uh, yeah or you get it for free they better you, you dump better it turn that down. sucker upside down or yeah. i'm leaving yeah but man panda closing school for yeah panda. i don't know about the school closing thing mm. also those cookies had some of them eh. they're a good cookie that's a cookie. I mean, it's a cookie. Yeah, I agree. You know what else it is, is a, cookie? a cookie? Just a regular old Oreo. Thank you. Mm. And last one, um, Kevin emails in, modern times, modern dating with four question marks. Kind of looking to ask a girl out. Didn't do it. Do I need to first ask her dad to date her or is it acceptable just to ask her out? We're good family friends, so just wondering if that's something I, that I should do. I immediately say no. Just ask her. That's right. Ask the yeah. Ask the woman. Save, save the question for dad for the bigger one. Later, yeah, that's right. bigger later. questions. No Talk need. To dad later. No need for asking. I I don't know how old you are, but yeah, you just go do it and just be yeah. Like, unless there's some weird. There could be some weird. They're family friends. Some yeah. protective order. Or like ten years difference or something that could be it could be something weird I guess but <laughs> yeah but assuming I, that I, everything is not you're, weird you're looking weird I'm saying like thirty and twenty not calm down that's not I, I'm using a 
Right, don't pull I'm a using Jerry. I'm using a J and Anna right now. Don't out. pull a Jerry Lee Lewis. Time out. If you're 30 and she's 20, don't ask her dad. Don't ask her. She's gonna say no if y'all have been family friends for this long and you've been waiting. <laughs> nah, don't make it weird. It weird. It's probably something normal. Yeah, just go it's ask. It's normal. Her out. Yeah, ask her. Yeah. Ask Save her. dad for the big one. So anyway, first Peter five five. In the same way, you who are younger, submit yourselves to your elders. All of you, clothe yourselves with humility towards one another because God opposes the hey. proud but shows favor to the humble. Yeah. So yeah. I thank you for doing me. this. Hey, why, are you you ask, why are you patting me on the shoulder? I should be patting you. <laughs> Started a fight. I may, I may look older than you. <laughs> no. We'll see y'all next time right here on the Duck uh, Hall. On the Duck Hall. Are you yeah. kidding? Is it over?